So Matt Beaudry, new to the group. I'm so excited to have you, of course, and you know I say that to you every single day. But yep, you sure do. Today I just want to talk a little bit about you as a person, like okay. you and your wife and Briggs, who is seven months old, going seven, on eight months. Yeah. yeah. He's a little guy, but he's growing by the day. So new dad. Are you a fairly or a new husband as well? I mean, yeah, I just got married last June, June 2017. So we're just hitting the ground running on marriage and life and that's our right. son and my career and everything. Yeah. So everything's kind of happening at once for you and you seem so put together. You seem so poised. And I love that about you. You're always dressed and you're always goal oriented, but tell me, talk to me a little bit about your transition. Like you got into real estate and all of a sudden what, what transpired? And, you know, I know we, you can tell us how we met, but right, what transpired right. like what's different in your life then versus how you're really feeling now? Well, I mean, it comes down to a lot of things. One, you know, the the timing of how we met and that transition and, you know, joining this group, it, it all just kind of came to a head at a great time in my life. I was in real estate and, you know, doing doing well, but was looking to really take my career to the next level. And, you know, we met at one of your great listings and we went and grabbed coffee. And a couple of weeks later, I'm showing up to my first meeting and meeting the team. And the rest is, as they say, history. But it really has uh, changed my career in so many ways. I definitely want to hear about that, but I, I would love to hear about like really truly how you were feeling inside the first time you came to a meeting. Like, was it a typical meeting for you or did you feel something different? Oh gosh, no. Yeah, it was totally different. Um, I could see right away the family and the interaction. And I mean, you just walk in the room and everybody hugs each other. That that to me as a human is a, a big deal. And just the compassion and support of this group and just the the life in the the room. It, it's I've walked into a lot of meetings where it's just it's dead, and there's just no excitement, and everybody's excited. Everybody wants to just hit the ground running every single day. So I just felt the warmth and the love from day one. That's always nice to hear. I mean, I love to hear that. And right. and you know, for me, I've never been at another brokerage, so I don't know the the feeling of another brokerage. Right. But I know that you were at another brokerage. In fact, you were down in um, down down south a little more. Right. Yep. I was down in Brighton. So you were you would drive from Fenton to Brighton. Right. And you probably always knew we were here, and you right. knew our name, and you knew Absolutely. our probably our social presence, but you really just didn't understand what we had to offer. So you're a standalone agent for a couple of years. I, I know you were doing it somewhat part time. Correct. Um, and you you have a high tech background. You worked for IBM. Correct. And so walk me through the the transition from corporate IBM to wanting to be a real estate agent. And now you're full blood, 100% in. Right. Yeah. So I, I worked for out of college, you know, got a job working for a healthcare analytics company division of uh, IBM. And, you know, it was, it was a great opportunity, great position. I'm thankful for everything I learned. But I learned very quickly that no matter how hard I worked, I was in the exact same shoes, the exact same desk, and the exact same salary every year. And, you know, corporate world can be tough, and I just didn't see the reward coming from my efforts. So I got into a friend of mine and, you know, encouraged me to go get my license and do it part-time. And I started doing that, and I fell in love. I always had a kind of a interest for real estate, even in high school, things like that. I just loved looking at houses, reading about it, all the information, why this house is selling and not selling, things like that. So that combined with just not being satisfied in my career at IBM, I you know started exploring other ways to uh, you know change my career. So I got my license and did it part time for quite a while, and then. Uh, I made the jump and haven't looked back. So do you think that an agent in today's market could do it part-time? Yeah. You know, you can, but you, you're not going to succeed. It's just going to be a hobby. It's not going to be a career. Okay. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. And then what about like at that, at that brokerage, were you getting any training? Were you getting your, you know, any, um, encouragement from anybody? Yeah. I mean, it was a supportive group. I have to say that they're good people. Uh, there was training available absolutely through the corporate structure, uh, it just, you know, it comes down to less opportunity and, uh, the culture here, I, I feel is a better fit for me and more, uh, my style. So, yeah. So if you could describe that culture and that style to somebody who is in the outside that maybe has no clue, what, what how would you describe it? Family, a second family. Okay. Just that's, that comes down to that love, support, success, family. And how does your new family and your new wife feel about your second family? Very happy. I mean, it's 
my wife says to me all the time, she can see the difference in my life and what's changed and who I am. And my friends tell me that all the time. They're like, you just, you seem like a different person. And it's because I'm, I am more satisfied in my career being here and I am a happier person. So it's, uh, it's, it's made an impact on my life beyond just the success of my career or the growth of my career. So we talk about that family and I, I'm always interested, like, cause you know, my wife, you know, very supportive of wants me to succeed. Uh, but I think the two families, you know, like you're all of a sudden your wife becomes part of our family as well. Right. Like we want you to succeed. And I think that having a work life balance is so important, but again, talk to that person that, that wants the overall picture of a balanced life. Like it's not just about selling homes for us. Right. You know what I mean? We really want to bring you to the next level of your life and not just real estate. Absolutely. I mean, I, I sit there and, you know, on a weekly basis, you're like, how's your week looking? What day are you taking off with your family? Things like that. It's encouraging. It's encouragement from your superiors within the group to sit there and it's like, like you constantly reminding, you know, great, you're working hard this week, but what, when are you going to spend time with your family? Things like that. So it's, I think it's important to get that check and reminder, even though it's in the back of my mind, like, yeah, like I try and book Saturdays out no matter what I try and just say Good. Saturday, that's my day with my family. We try and go do something or even if we're just at the house because the weather's bad, whatever it is, spend time with my wife, my dogs and my children, not my children, my child. And, uh, <laughs> you tell us something new. Future. We got another well, child. Well, <laughs> not right now, but maybe in the future. Yeah, definitely in the future. But, uh, yeah, it's just the work-life balance. Uh, part of the deal is here, the systems allow you to work really hard for your scheduled time in the day, go take care of your clients and serve them. But then you can go home and be done. And yeah, you might get some calls or some emails or some texts, but that's just real estate. But, you know, previously I felt the need to never stop because I was always trying to cultivate, cultivate that next lead and the next client. And being part of this group, you have the ability to serve more clients and maybe use utilize the systems that aren't going to always have that complete pressure raining down on you as an independent agent. Great. Well said, well said. And tell us what the legs mean to you. Well, legs is a new thing to me from being part of this group. I know it's been ingrained in some of the culture of this group, but you know, it, it's just the, the love, earn, grow and serve. I mean, it's just, it's, it means so much to me because it's my happiness and my family, the love, you know, go out and be successful and earn. And the growth to me is huge, you know, to grow my career and the future of myself and my family. That's so important to me. And I also love being able to, you know, go serve, you know, maybe take a listing that other people might not say, Hey, this is going to be a challenge. And I'm out here going, these people need help. So to go out and serve clients and, you know, make their dreams come true and help their life improve while also going out and helping this community. I mean, that's what I love about it. You know, growing up serving communities I grew up in, things like that, giving back is, it's important to me. And this group gives me the opportunity to do that while helping my career and helping this community. That's called, do you feel like you can be yourself here? I mean, you're faith, you're a faithful guy. I mean, you're yeah. faith, you're faith based. Do you Absolutely. feel like you can be yourself here? Yeah. And I love that too. I, I, you know, I love opening with prayer around most of our events. I love embracing faith instead of shying away from it. Uh, you know, grow, you know, having a career in a corporate world where you couldn't even say Christmas, it's, it was sad to me and Super it really yeah. was, uh, negative to me. So, you know, going beyond that, just the ability to embrace faith and, you know, it's not pushed on you though. If you aren't a faithful person, it's not pushed on you. It's just this group embraces it. Yeah. I always say we love you where you're at. Absolutely. You know I mean? And then finally, I just want to talk a little bit about, I mean, you were an independent agent you, you came over here not one time in our interviews or in our getting to know each other, did you care about what split we had? What, how, you know, you did ask, but it wasn't a determining factor in you making the decision here. So again, you're talking to another agent out there. What's so important between splits or your 1099? So with me, you know, from day one of sitting down the coffee, I I went home and I told my wife, I said, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get into that group because I have always been impressed by the marketing and what is achieved by this group. So the second I got to dive in with you and get into this group, like group and understand the culture, the split didn't matter to me anymore because John said it to me, you said it to me, other people have said it to me, you can go out and you can do 
15 deals this year or 20 deals this year and touch 15 or 20 people, or I can walk in and touch more people with a split, but that's going to grow my career long-term so much faster than me doing as an independent agent and growing two or three deals a year and that steady, slow climb. This to me was just, I can pursue real estate I can do it stably within the support of this group, and I can really grow my career year after year after year. That's what was important to me. But the second I got in a room with any of you guys, I just fell in love with the culture and what the group had to offer because it was so different than what I had experienced.